All right, we're gonna replace these stock, long and clunky indicator lights, as well as the big rear tail lamp and bracket with these. So let's do it. Bit of a progress report here. So I went ahead and I pulled the tail lamp bracket as well as the wires. And then there was also another bracket here that holds the fender onto the hoop. Uh, so I uh, went ahead and put on the new tail lamp, make sure it works, which it does. I'll show you what it looks like on the fender in a moment. And then I went ahead and uh, drilled this hole. This is the first mounting hole for the new tail lamp. So this hole, these two holes, these two holes as well as this one, they're all factory holes, either for the bracket that holds the fender to the hoop or the tail lamp bracket. And then I'm gonna to have to drill a few more holes to run some of the wires. These wires here that went to the factory tail lamp will need to come down lower. So that'll be one of the next steps. All right, so that's just the new tail light in place. This mounting screw here, that is the, that's going through the hole that you saw before. So I haven't bolted anything down. So you see it's loose. Um, the only issue here that I wasn't counting on, so I really like the looks of this, and I think this, along with when I get the, the turn signals installed, the new ones, it's going to look really clean, lower the profile of the bike quite a bit. Um, but you'll see here, and I don't want to put that big ugly bracket back on that holds this hoop in place. So the fender is also held on by these two bolts, right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is there's, I'm gonna drill here and put another nut and bolt underneath. So instead of holding on the fender from here, it's actually gonna hold it in place from here. And that should be fine, I'm hoping. I was able to repurpose one of these mounting bolts that I'm not gonna be using. And accompanied with a nut underneath the fender. Fender's now nice and sturdy and no need for that ugly bracket that attached to the hoop. So again, this is a, a mounting bolt that goes down into the fender, and then there's gonna to need to be two more right here. So in order to get to these and mark where I'm going to drill, I had to remove the tail lamp cover. So there you have it, that's the rear tail light mounted. And now we move on to these indicators which I already have one off, and that's when the wiring becomes fun. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so there we are. Um, I still have to work out a couple of electrical issues. These indicators wire up just a little bit differently than the factory. Uh, and as a result, they work, but when I turn the front and rear headlamp on, so when I turn the, the lights on, the signals don't work, so I'll figure that out. It's probably a, a simple grounding or something like that, I don't know. I'm not big into electrics, um, so I'll get my head around it and we'll, we'll fix it, but there you go, pretty solid. So I'm really liking the improvement in the back as well. That just cleans it up. All right, all installed, front and back indicators, rear tail lamp, all the wires managed. Electrical issue worked out. It was just a uh, battery issue. Needed to run the bike and uh, the indicator started working when the lights were on. So all good there, but that's how it looks. I really like the profile. Much cleaner than up front. Smaller indicators. 